today's project is a fun way of using up some scraps. Um, most of what I'm using today is just little bits and pieces that I've got lying around my craft room, on my desk, in drawers, and I thought I'm going to make a fun little art doll just to stand on my desk, um, a little decorative piece. So obviously for my doll I'm going to need a base and I've got some, this is actually some foam board, um, I've got a scrap of foam board and I've cut several rectangles and I've just glued them together to create a block. You could use a little block of wood if you've got one. I, I've had a look round for a block of wood, hadn't got one anywhere. Um, this will do perfectly well. This is just six layers I've just glued together and sort of carved round a rough edge with a craft knife. Um, before I'm going to paint it, I want to just um, collage um, some tissue paper over it just to make it a bit easier to paint the foam on the cut edge sometimes resists the paint a little bit and this is just some vintage dressmaking pattern paper and this will be absolutely perfect just for um, collage over this to create a base for my for, for painting and you know it's nice that if I get some bits that I've got the printing on as well it's just an extra layer in the background so that I've just pre-glued together just to give that a chance to dry and I can get ready and collage that. The face of my doll, I've chosen this. Um, this is from the Art by Marlene Studio Light die cut block. Lots of images in here that are all die cut and quite a few faces like this one. That's going to be absolutely perfect. I want um, a body. So I've just drawn a rough body shape on a piece of stiff grey board. You could use some cereal box, some packaging box. Glue a couple of pieces of lighter card together. Just something sturdy. And I sort of had a look at how big her head was and sort of gauged a proportional size for the body. And we're going to decorate that with some pattern paper. This is just a bit of um, scrap boot paper that I've had for years and off cut. I quite like it. I thought the colours and the pattern were nice. I found some black and white stripe too. I might use that. I also want her, as she's going to be whimsical and quirky, I wanted to have a crown. This is a little grunge board crown that I'd got in a box. And I wanted to have some wings. And this is just one of the um, ideology layers. This is the botanical set. There was butterflies and flowers in. And I'm going to cut that in half. And she's going to have some wings. Now, I need to create her some legs. And they're going to be made from wire and beads. We'll get round to that in a bit. And when I finish decorating the base, I want to put a sentiment on and I'm going to use one of these stamps here, these um, affirmation stamps from That's Crafty. So to begin with, I'm just going to clear some of these bits out of the way and I'm going to collage my tissue paper over here. I'm just going to attach it with some matte medium.
so I've covered that I haven't bothered covering the bottom it doesn't matter that's not going to be seen but the top and my sides are completely covered I'm going to let that dry and while that's drying I'm going to while I've got the brush and the matte medium out I'm just going to cover her dress so simplest thing to do will be to just cut this paper down a bit just to make it more manageable and I'm going to paint matte medium over the front of the body and then lay this down onto my paper onto the reverse side of the pattern paper and just press it down and then we can trim around the edges and we'll just set that aside to dry and I'll be right back as soon as those are ready to move on to the next stage. Now that the matte medium's dry, I want to give this base um, a wash of colour and for that I'm going to use Cobalt Teal Hue from the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics range. I also want to go around the edge of this body with some black soot distress ink and I shall also be edging around the wings and the face when I come to attach those as well and it'll just give it a unified look. The back of this is going to be finished off with some more paper because we've got to attach the legs and they'll be attached on wire which will be on the back so I will just cut another piece of scrapbook paper to hide all those joins afterwards. So that's that body inked around. I'm going to just pop some of this paint in a palette. And just going to apply a wash of colour over this. I want to still be able to see the pattern markings. I quite like that. But by having this paper on here it makes it a lot easier to paint than if it was just the foam board. I'm quite happy with that. That's um, just added some colour, which is what I wanted, but I can still see that bottom layer through it. So I'm just going to wash my hands, wash my brush, and I'll be back and start assembling the body. So I need to cut these wings in half, and I can just cut straight down the centre of the body of this butterfly. Now I could trim this back to the you know trim this border off but I'm just going to add a little ink around the edge it's just going to look neater it's nicely die cut I don't see the need to sort of try and fussy cut that away on here I shall probably end up making it look more messy if I do and these I'm going to just attach with some glue just to the back of the body. Apologies for the glare, it's getting a little dark, I've had to pop the lights on um, and these are quite, quite shiny. So I'm just going to stick those in place on the back and I'm just using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue that I've got in a little bottle with a fine nozzle. It dries quickly and grabs it so absolutely ideal for something like this. So once I've got those in position where I want them, I can just wipe away any excess glue. It's going to dry clear, but I'll just get rid of those little bits there. And the same goes for the face. Rather than try and fussy cut this white border away, I'm just going to ink around the edge and I want to pop a crown on here but I want to make the crown gold and the easiest way to make that really really shiny gold is to use some transfer foils and a glue pen so I'm just going to grab those and transfer foils really easy to use um, if you 
put there are flake and glitter glues available double-sided tape spray adhesive but these um, two-way glue pens they dry to a tacky finish if you let them dry and the foil sticks to that perfectly So pop some glue on there, I'm just going to give that a moment or two to become tacky and then I can press the foil onto it and make it all nice and shiny. And I'm just deciding, I wanted to use some of the black and white striped paper that I'd got. And I'm thinking I might just put a little band um, across the bottom of the body just to break that patterning up and just make it a little bit more quirky really. So I'm just going to freehand, I don't want anything to be too perfect here, so I'm just going to cut a st strip of paper before I stick it down, I'm just going to add a little ink on either edge, on those cut edges. And I'm going to stick that across the bottom of her dress like that. So just pop in some of my glue on the back. And just positioning it on there. Just press that down and just get my smaller scissors just to trim away the excess and that just breaks up that patterning and just adds a little bit more a bit more fun to it really I think my glue is going tacky now let me just see if that's uh, if it's dry enough yep and with the transfer foil you just press it down And the foil comes away from its backing and sticks onto the surface. gives a nice shiny effect like that. I quite like the fact this has the diamond imprint in it as well which again just adds a little bit more to it. So as with everything else just going to go around those edges with the black ink as best I can. And then that's going to get glued in place on her head there. So just bit of glue on the bottom and just pop that in place and as you can see our little figure is, is coming together quite nicely now I'm just going to give this a bit of a dry off with the heat tool, give that chance just to set and then we can begin um, constructing, joining it together, putting the legs on and attaching the head and body and putting it all onto the base. First things first, I want to attach my head to my body and for that I've got a small piece of florist's wire and I've got a bead, I just want to use a bead to separate the head and the body to create almost um, like a neck, just something so that the head doesn't sit directly on the top of the body. And I'm going to flip it over and the simplest way is just to lay it down like so. Position where the head goes in relationship to the body. I'm just going to use some tape to hold these in place. I'm um, just going to put some washi tape down and then I can cover it over with a piece of pattern paper. And 
the washi tape will just hold that wire in position. Just double check that it's in the right place. So that's the head and the body together. And to create the legs, I've got a longer piece of florist's wire. And I've folded it in half to create two legs. And I'm going to thread on some beads. And I've got two long tube shaped beads for the legs and a couple more of these little uh, bobbled lampwork beads for the feet and they're going to be positioned something along like that. I need to leave some wire at the bottom that's going to be poked into our base but obviously um, just to measure up what depth we've got going there. And then I can just roughly flip that over and at least I know that's the general position that I want that to be in. And again, we're just going to hold that in place with some washi tape. Because I'd cut another piece of that pattern scrap boot paper out and that's going to go on there. Just to disguise all this uh, construction work. So carefully so we don't lose those beads just gonna pop this down stick it in place it's looking fine and just to disguise this on the back of the head I've just cut a circle from the scrap boot paper and that'll just cover it and give it a little bit more strength so again just pressing that down carefully and we'll give that a moment to dry and then we can mount this into the base so my head, the crown, the body, everything's glued in place. I've glued a little metal charm there. I, I found this little heart shaped padlock. I thought that was nice. So the back is quite nicely finished off now. I took one of my stamps and I've stamped onto a piece of card, um, trimmed it down and edged with some black distressing and just mounted that onto the front of the base. And all that remains to do now is to work out where we're going to pop the legs in here. And I'm just going to mark two dots with a pencil. Because I want to just pop a little bit of glue in there. So just popping a hole in. So I can insert this fine nozzle and that way the glue will help hold these in place. So just gently but firmly just going to press these in and if necessary you can always add a little extra glue just underneath the bottom bead. remember this will dry clear so any that sort of oozes out that's absolutely fine and here we have our finished art doll ready to pop on the shelf or the table 
I think she's turned out really nice. I'm very pleased with her. And made out of odds and ends and scraps that were just lying around. And here we have it. Beautiful, shiny, metallic crown. Some nice embellishments, beads, scraps of paper, collage papers, um, die cuts, stamps. I really love her. I think she's beautiful. As always, I would really appreciate if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Let's me know that you've enjoyed it. Let YouTube know that you've enjoyed it. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to leave one of those as well. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads from me. But for now, that's all, and I shall be back again soon with another video. Bye.